and welcome back to HSA English classes. Today we are going to learn the poem Aboriginal Australia by Jack Davis. Definition of the word Aboriginal being the first or earliest known of its kind present in a region. Now let us check the points to be noted. The poem Aboriginal Australia was first published in Jagadu Poems from Aboriginal Australia. It was published in 1978. In this poem, reader can find an Aboriginal speaker detailing the atrocities of the colonial area. Rhyming scheme of the poem is ABAB. The poem is grouped into eight quatrains and the poem is also known as To the Others. Now let us learn the summary of the poem. Aboriginal Australia records the brutal events that occurred with the indigenous people of Australia in the past. The poet takes readers back to the time when the European colonizers first stepped into their land. They said they were related to one another. Using this stratagem, they established a brotherly relationship with the speaker. He accepted it without knowing what was waiting ahead. The poet alludes to Yerkala Bar petitions of 1963. The colonial government took land from the aboriginal Yongu people. It made them submit two bar petitions in the parliament. In this way, lands of aboriginals were sacked by colonizers. The massacre at the Lake George Hills in the 1820s, the speaker visualizes the stick bonds of people at other places. The speaker cries for Varara man, the Varawa people of Western Australia, Colonizers killed them. The freckled mind is a metaphor for their villainous mind. The Murray tribe in 1830s, several, several of them died in the Mount Dispersion Massacre. He metaphorically refers to the killing of Aboriginal people by the face, Massacre of my enclave. Here enclave is a reference to the speaker's motherland. They buried him on McClarty's run alongside, refers to the speaker of the poem, is none other than who died in massacre. The speaker alludes to the cross crucifixion of Christ. The color red symbolizes the colonial rulers. Lordly rape hints their woman abuse. Colonial period is referred as brutish years. The real story of Aboriginal Australia was all about the ruthless killing of its people. The poem ironically comments on the colonizer's cruel mindset. Now let us learn the literary devices used in this poem. Irony, you once smiled a friendly smile. I said we were kin to one another. Colonizer's crafty mindset is ironized here. Metaphor. They you swamped my way gladness. Here swamped is used to signify the destruction of aboriginal's happiness. Thank you.